Hi, Sayed. Yeah, thanks for the case. Tibial stress syndrome. We have a question about how do we classify this. So let's start with the radiograph. It doesn't really show much here. Um, this also is like two months before the MRI. So not quite surprising that we don't really see anything here. So let's go to the MRI. We can see there's extensive bone marrow edema in the mid third of the tibial shaft. We see extensive periostal reaction. We can see this also here, a, you know, periostal reaction all the way around here. We see a fissure here in the cortical bone. We will check the T1 for this and we see the central bone marrow edema here. So when we go to the Fredrickson classification, we can see we see this, but we also see intracortical signal change and the criteria for 4A to 4B would be a linear change in the cortex. And if you scroll through like this, you can actually see linear changes here in the cortical bone. You can see this is where we have the fissure here coming down. So it's okay up here, but then there's a longitudinal fissure that goes through like this and then here, and then somehow it goes away. So 4B.